So we headed to Ahmedabad with $30,000 worth of equipment and software don donated by faculty and staff members of Marquette. We trained 24 students in the craft of backpack journalism, 19 of which have now secured jobs in journalism. We set up the very first Macintosh lab at the University in India. And, but our most important accomplishment was a cultural exchange that occurred between the Indian students and our team. I will post um, on Twitter the full documentary after today. It was ready. The experience in India was unforgettable. Awesome, I guess. Um, it was very different than anything we have had here in the U.S. I mean, I've been to New York City and it pales in comparison to there. You're just constantly looking and there's people crossing the street and camels to your left and then there's a rickshaw that you're driving on with the car. Getting off that plane, like, I was stepping into essentially a whole new world. Obviously, when it comes to teaching anywhere, overseas, heck, even in a different part of town, there's always going to be barriers, be it personal or, or cultural, that you have to go through. It's walking in, working with them, respecting their culture, and saying, you know what, how can I learn from you, and how can you help me be a better person through um, what I can learn from you. So that's one thing I think that really sets apart this program, is the fact that we go in there with an atmosphere of this is going to be a great learning experience for both of us. We know it's going to be a successful program. We know that no matter what comes down the line, um, it's going to be something that's going to forever change me and how I feel about the world and my life. I've come in contact with people I've not met before. They're all from different backgrounds. Um, everyone has a different story to tell. Everyone has a different strengths and weaknesses. So, um, yes, after this, uh, the classes that we've had, we've, we've actually put all that we've known into it. We've helped each other grow. So I definitely say it's a two-way street because of the fact that I learned more in the time that I was there than I did about myself the 19 years I've lived. And I think that's something that I definitely realized when I had a conversation with Father Daniel when one afternoon when we were just sitting in the grass while the students were doing an assignment and I like I was just talking to him about how much that I've learned from the Jesuits, from the students and from the faculty there about their culture and about things that they've taught me about myself and about themselves. Beyond the academic goal, um, I think uh, it has been a great experience to meet people from a different land and uh, I wouldn't call it a cultural gap, but uh, when, you, when you work with different people, you get to know things and conventions of the place they come from. And you are challenged to meet those expectations to adjust yourself. And in the process, you be better off as an individual and grow even beyond the academic or the program perspective. So I really enjoyed the interaction between myself and the students because it definitely allowed me to see from a different perspective. Um, to see from the perspective of these students that are just like me. I mean, it sounds so American to say, I can't think of the right word, um, but these students have as much passion, if not more, than a lot of my peers here at Marquette. And to see that and to take in that passion for myself was amazing and I, I could not have asked for a better experience and I really hope that other students uh, throughout the years will be able to experience something like this to become a role, to play a role of a role model to students um, whether it's within the field of journalism or photography or writing just their own novels. I mean that their passion transcended through their projects and definitely onto myself. It's it's definitely inspired me to question what I want to do for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. <laughs>